So I've made a video on making tabs before, but this is a more efficient and easier way to do it. So for the tabs themselves, this time you only need one object, whereas before you needed three. So I'm just going to make that new object here. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this into the scene and then control drag on it to duplicate it. Just place, let's say, three down. So I'm just going to click on these three dots here and then click on edit objects variables. And I'm going to make a new one and I'm going to call it tab number and I'm going to call this zero. And so now if I click on one of these instances, there's this tab number variable. And so for this middle one, I'm going to change this to one. And for this one on the right, I'm going to change it to two. So now these all have different values in this variable. So this is what I'm going to use to determine which one of these has been clicked on. So I'm going to move them up here and I'm just going to make a new object, which will just change color each time we click on a different tab. So I've just called this BG and I'm just going to make it bigger. So now in the events, I can just do my normal hovering over the objects and changing the animation events. Like so. So if I play it, then you'll notice that they do it independently from each other. So when I do a sub event here, I'm just going to do a normal mouse press. I'm only going to change the animation here. And so now I'm going to make a new variable and just to make it easier for me, I'm going to make a new objects variable in this tab. I'm just going to call this selected tab. I'm going to call this zero. So this is going to act basically the same as the selected tab variable in my last tab video, but I'm going to make a sub event of this mouse down event and check to see if the variable of the tab, if the tab number is equal to zero, then I'm going to set the selected tab variable equal to zero. Then we're just going to copy and paste this and do if it's one, then I'm going to set it to one. And if it's two, then I'm going to set it to two. So every time the mouse is down, it will change the animation. And if the mouse is down and the tab number variable is equal to zero, which will be the far left one, then it will change this to zero. If it's equal to one, which will be the middle one, it will set the selected tab to one. And if it's equal to two, then it will set this to two. So this is why we've changed these zero, one and two so that we can check which one is being pressed via these variable conditions. So now I can make a new event and check if the selected tab is equal to zero or if it's equal to one or if it's equal to two. So what I'm going to do is just change the color of the background sprite here. So I'm just going to search for color and change it to red. Then if it's one, I'm going to change it to green. And if it's two, I'm going to change it to blue. So this is red now. And if I click on this one, change it to green. If I click on this one, changes it to blue. Okay, so sorry for that jump cut, but when I went back and tried it, it didn't work as intended. So what you need to do is you shouldn't use an object variable for the chosen tab. Instead, you can use a global variable or a scene variable like I have here. And so in the events, you just change this to the scene variable and this to the scene variable as well. So you have really cool working tabs, which are only made of two objects, which is really cool. So I hope you found this helpful. Have fun.